good to see you again. How are you doing? Yeah? Good. Okay, so I thought tonight, because I had such fun last time, um, finding out so much about you um, with our intimate quiz questionnaire, that I would like to know a little bit more. So I've got like about three pages worth of questions to ask you, if you don't mind. And um, just do your best to try and answer them as honestly as possible. And um, don't worry, complete confidentiality, whatever you say now stays with me. Just there's only gonna be you and me know the answer. So if it's anything really personal, you just do your best. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so you just yeah, sit back. Okay. You ready? Nice and easy one to start with. Just gonna ease you in gently. <laughs> Are your feet the same size? <laughs> okay. Yeah, as each other. Okay. Um, if you were given the option, what would you choose to eat for your very last meal? Okay. You can have more than one course. I would I would say if you're having one last meal, you only have more than one course. Thoughts. Good choice. Perfect. Okay. If you had to, for whatever reason, create an alias for yourself, what would yours be? James Bond has already gone, but <laughs> okay. You can have that one. All right. Um, a bit embarrassing. How old is the most expired item in your fridge? If you have one, if you've not, then. In a similar sort of a vein, what food will you never ever eat? I've got a few on my list, like I don't eat fish and I don't eat offal and um, I think that's about it. I mean, I've tried most other things though. So. What about you? Perfect. Um, what is the weirdest thing you have ever done on a date? Or are you just perfect? You've never done anything weird. Right? Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. And how did that day go? Don't tell me you've married them. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the last lie that you told? If it's big or little. I think that's understandable. That one's allowed. What is the worst lie you told? Like, yeah. It's not good. Don't worry, it stays with me. What is the real last time that you lost your jeans? They kind of they need that wearing in, don't they? You've got to wear them for quite a while to get that. Yeah. I knew a guy who never washed his jeans once. He just febreze the most so often. Yeah. Hello. What animal most resembles your eating style? Right, do your little, like, little 
mouse or face in the nose by the leather horse. <laughs> okay. done this one too many times. Have you ever sent a text to somebody and you didn't mean to? Yeah, I once sent one to my boyfriend. Call him my boyfriend. Mm. Had to get out of them. You know, right? <laughs> okay. I love these ones. What is the best joke you have ever heard? What? That's the best one you've ever heard. <laughs> right, I don't know if I'll be pinching that one to share but thank you would you rather not shower for a month or eat the same meal every day for a month I think I'd say that as well would you rather choose cat food or dog food to eat you can't say neither Okay. Would you rather be good looking and stupid or an ugly genius? Okay. Do you prefer to be too hot or too cold? Um, would you rather be poor with great friends or rich with absolutely nobody? What's the longest you have ever gone without taking a shower? Festivals are alright, they, they're okay, you can be real loud, aren't we? For festivals and camping, I think. Think carefully about this one. Do you think you are brave? Okay. What degree have you never? told anybody out loud that you have. Well, I've got a dream. What is one thing you regret having done in your life? So something, an event or a path that you've chosen or something you've done. What's something in your life that you regret not having done? So like, if there was an opportunity given to you and then you just went, no, no, I'm taking it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you think of yourself right now and your whole and things that you are doing in your life are you proud of everything that you have and that you are okay. when is the last time you cried What is it that you are the most afraid of? Whether it's 
spiders or snakes or whether it's just physically something or someone. What emotion do you experience the most? What embarrasses you the most in front of other people? So if you're something that you do or a quirk or an ism or if um, an experience was to happen around you, what would be the most embarrassing thing? I get that. I'm ready. What do you love most about yourself? So whether that's a physical trait or part of your personality or... Yeah. Cool. Who in your life has influenced you the most? Whether it's somebody famous, friends, family, who would you say? Okay. Um, this is a bit of a funny one because <laughs> we've had a bit of a, a funny 2020 if you like. Um, but put that to one side. What has been your best moment this year so far? Oh, okay. Okay. What one thing, if you could, would you like to change about yourself? Again, that can be physical or, you know, like a personality thing or... Okay. What motivates you each morning to get up? If you could do anything for the rest of your life, what would it be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is cute. If you had to choose to look after a baby fox or a baby koala to adopt them, which one would you pick a baby fox or a baby koala. You said that quick enough. <laughs> okay. If you could pick any reality show to be on, which one would you choose to be on? Even if you think you're too old for it, you want it on like Love Island. If you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? No visa necessary. Okay. Yeah, I've been there. It's really cool. Um, Alright, um, when you were little, what is the most memorable toy you have ever played with? How many bones have you broken? What did you want to be when you were little? So when you, when you grew up, what did you want to be? And are you that now? Okay. What do you hope to achieve by your next whole decade birthday? So by the time you're 20, 30, 40, or whichever. You're coming up towards something you want to have achieved or ticked off bucket list wise. Realistically, it's possible. 
What do you fear about getting older? Is there anything I could do to make your life run a little bit smoother? Is there any way I could help you or fix something or guide you? Not sure if that could happen, but okay. Who are your top three life heroes, fictional or non fictional? I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. How do you relieve stress? So some can think, oh, I'm really wound up. Like I sometimes go for a run, or what do you do? Read a book, maybe? Watch YouTube? If you could change your first name in your life, what would it be that you'd change it to? Cool. If you had to choose between a hundred kittens or three baby sloths, which would you choose? <laughs> We've got to have some fun questions here. Okay, you're doing really well. I'm on to the last page. So, which horror fiction character scares you the most? Yeah, okay, I get that. Which food do you crave more than any other? If you could get rid of any holiday on the calendar, if it's a major festival or not, what would it be? Really? I love that one. It's fine. Oh, yeah. What's the most clever word that you know? What's that mean? Okay. Teaching me something, you think? Um, what is the dumbest thing you ever did on a dare? Okay. Fabulous. Are you a good time manager? Like, are you always on time, or are you behind, running late? Can you cope with workload, etc.? What time do you usually go to sleep at night time, if you can? Okay. Do you have an old top or shirt that you just can't let go of, for whatever reason? What keeps you busy during the weekends? So what do you like to do? Or if you work weekends on your weekend equivalent. Oops, another one down there. Okay, cool. Would you say that life has been hard on you so far? cash your mind back but what would you say is the highest pressure situation you have been in so far okay. 
what do you say or what do you believe makes somebody successful? Do you believe in the paranormal? Okay. Okay. You might have to tell me more about that someday. Cool. Um, what is the absolute worst song in the world that you hate? What is your culinary speciality? So you've got something from your mind, what do you know you can throw together in the kitchen and it's going to be great? Or do you want to take out? No, you better cook something, even if it's just toast. Cool. You'll have to invite me around then. I'll have some of that. What do you always procrastinate on? Like, so what, was, what do you always put off doing instead of just going, right, I've got time now. You'd be like, I don't want to do it. That's fair enough. Don't think anyone likes doing that. <laughs> okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six questions left. What do you keep on your nightstand? Okay. Um, who would be your partner in crime? Just the first name is fine, yeah. Do you have a secret hunch about how you're going to die? Well, you'll never know. <laughs> Unless you believe in the paranormal. Indeed. Have you ever been out of the country? two questions are you ready give them your all do you tend to google your problems it's dangerous as that may be are you like me and google i've got a headache and think that's it you're about to die cool if you could be fluent in any language what would it be Chess. And that's it. That is all of my questions for you today. Thank you so much again for sharing yourself with me because I love learning so much more about you. I feel like we've got this connection going. I might save some more and ask you some more in a few more weeks. Yeah? Okay. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.